Okay. For safety reasons, we're trying to borrow our friend's jack. Not jack, my bad. Engine lift. And we didn't really know. No. <laughs> Shut up, Corwin. <laughs> we didn't really realize how big this fucker is. I told you. It's huge. It would fit this way. We thought we could disassemble it more and uh, put half of it, not half of it, like a little bit in the Miata and a little bit in the Impala. It's four foot one. That's... Yeah, the, the arm is four foot one. What's up, guys? This is Hate Comments number two. There's a lot of them. Let's get started. Okay, so in this video, uh, Mishu, if you don't know who Mishu is, he, he's the guy that has the RSX, but his motor mount broke, and uh, in, attempt, in an attempt to limp the car home, I decided to weld the motor mount back together. So, I, myself, and every other welder is cringing right now. Who would let this fucking retard weld a motor mount? Learn to weld when it's not running a consistent bead, that means you're too far away from the metal. Beats on it as soon as he gets it. It breaks down, blames the owner, sells car, very reliable, adult owned, garage kept, never broke down, not beat on. Be honest at least. Do you have no fucking clue what sarcasm is? I titled the video. We were at McDonald's when we posted that and it was, we were laughing. It was supposed to be a joke kind of thing like, ha, that's funny. They say it's garage kept and all that shit. It Here's the title of the video. Adult owned, garage kept, they will sell for sale. I think everybody except for you understands that that's fucking sarcasm. And so, it's funny. Yes. It wasn't serious. Obviously that shit is not everything that that said. Yeah. Alright guys, so Zach often seems all, a little bit naive and all that stuff, but um, you guys have to realize that he is in a way different situation than like me and Seth. Uh, where he lives, career opportunities are not very easy to find. and. His, uh, he finally found a, a full-time job he can work at a, uh, it's a medical, this guy's, it's this a medical, guy. <laughs> I said it again, it's a Quit. metal fabrication. Quit cooking Zach, bro, that shit cracks me up. Yeah, but he finally got a full-time job, and it's like 25 minutes from where he lives, and uh, he is just now actually getting like a steady income, and he's not the smartest with his money, and we're trying to help him out. I'm not saying we're financial geniuses, because he's broke too. And I'm not rich, but you know, like we're trying to help him out, and all that stripper money I've been blowing it. Okay, I'm not doing <laughs> yeah. the best with mine. He is, but a, he is a stripper. He's doing even worse. Yeah, and that's not a joke. Thursdays, eleven o'clock, La Bear, Dallas. Wait, PM or AM? PM. Yeah. No strip clubs. It's gonna be open at eleven in the morning. Zach's a fucking retard. <laughs> Next episode from the hospital. I think that was in, in reply to our um, engine lift. Which, by the way, guys, we are getting an engine lift. We're borrowing an engine lift from our friend. The only reason why we couldn't get it last night is we thought that we could fit it into the Impala. And that because did not he happen. said we could. Yeah. We got there, the motherfucker was like six or seven feet tall, yeah. 350 pounds. Mm -hmm. He said it, was, it would separate into three pieces. The two pieces that came off were the fucking legs. So that didn't help any of the main pieces. Seth, you need to go to school and graduate. You seem intelligent enough, and chicks love an educated but manly dude, so you should be beating them off with a stick. You also look good in a hat. Zach needs to concentrate on getting his dream car up and running and stop wasting money on expensive Jap shit. How far would 700 have gone on restoring the new motor or even the Civic? Um, I'll let Seth comment on the first paragraph. I was hoping it was a girl. His name is Steve Sims. Thank it you, Steve. It was not a girl, but I accept. Thank you. Thank you, Steve Sims. Shout and out to you. Shout out for not put for putting no homo. Oh, I didn't mention that part. Good on that. your part. I said no gay. No gay. No gay. It was close enough. But I mean, he's a stripper, so he's used to it. I haven't had one guy come in there yet, so not true. I'll be the first guy to come in there. Don't and you know why? I'm gonna bring that fucking camera, and you two gonna see. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. All right. I'll probably get kicked out though. Honestly. Um, You're not allowed to record video or take pictures in there. Well, if I'm the official photographer. No. And if you take that big fucking thing in there, they're not gonna... No. They probably just think it's a dildo. Okay, so we made a comment in the, uh... I don't think it was the last video. It was in another one. Another one. <laughs> another one. Another one. Um, another we made one. a comment in there. Give me your foot, fuck boy. 
we, we made a comment in there where we were like, guys, we're 18 and 17 and we're doing this shit. And we apparently pissed off a shit ton of adolescents. By that, I mean anywhere from ranging from 13 to 17. Guys, we were not talking shit to y'all. What we were referring to is for, at our high school, there is nothing but mommy and daddy's money. Uh, we're talking about the broad amount of people our age ranging from fucking when you were born to an adult legally in that range. How the fuck's a one year old gonna know anything about cars? It's good on us and people in that range that know what they're doing and took the time to actually teach themselves some shit. That's what we were saying. Zach better start growing a mullet to get with that L code. <laughs> These guys know less about the engineering forces on an engine hoist than they do about fixing cars. This ought to be fun to watch. Thank you, Jerry. These ADD hillbillies are the byproduct of the Pokemon generation. Holy fucking shit. Then again, they're from Texas, so that explains a lot. If you want to piss off a whole fucking state of rednecks with shotguns, go for it, bro. And by the way, we don't even play Pokemon. <laughs> I don't play Pokemon. I just started, like, a day ago, and I don't do it often. See, so. like, up until about, I'd say, two years ago, like, I played video games a lot, and then once I hit a certain point, I just completely stopped. Like, my PlayStation right there, I haven't turned that bitch on in a long time. Hate comments number two. Uh, the El Camino is going to be resumed probably tomorrow because that gets paid tomorrow uh the only thing holding us back right now is getting the engine lift over to zach's house and it's like what oh it's an hour drive so we gotta do that and then we can finally resume it and i see a lot of you guys getting really skeptical now because zach keeps on buying a car and then moving on um we are going to get the el camino running uh we're gonna yeah. fucking do it whether he likes it or not uh we're going to make sure it happens. He has the attention span of a goldfish, so it's <laughs> kind of hard to Dude, finish a fucking project. Zach is going to fucking hate us whenever he sees this video. I don't care. He needs um, to know that he's needs to fucking focus. Yeah, it's just, um, I can tell that, like, a lot of his decisions are pissing you guys off, and, like, it, this is a lot. It's pissing us off, yeah. too. We're right there with you guys. When you guys are like, y'all are stupid for buying more cars. That's Zach. Yeah. We're right. on the same page as you. We're yelling at him. We're saying the same shit y'all are saying in the comments. But we're doing it face to face every fucking day. Every minute we're with him. Every time he makes a dumbass mistake. We're fucking telling him. So like, we're right there with you guys. So don't throw us in that category because we're fucking yeah. with you. Like, I mean, it's like you're watching a TV show and like, you know, some car TV show and they buy a car. It's like, oh shit, DCU is bad. Alright, time to buy another car. You're like, what the fuck, man? You already bought that car. You know what I mean? I, I see what you guys are saying, and it frustrates us, too. And I do gotta mention, guys, uh, I did not help uh, with the influence of getting the El Camino. We all agree it was a bad decision to get at this point in time, and it's kind of my fault. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm not gonna blame this all on Zach. I was on vacation. I'm yeah. not a part of that. But me and Zach went up there, and uh, he had a $200 loan from his parents, plus his own money, and... We got up there, and Zach had $340, and the guy was asking for $450. And I told Zach, hey, let me try to haggle him. So I went up there. I was like, hey, uh, we checked it out. It's like, can you take $300? He's like, man, I got a guy coming tomorrow uh, for looking at it to buy it for the full price. I was like, okay. And then Zach, Zach steps in. He's like, all right, all I got is $340. Will you take $340? The guy's like, man, I, I don't know. I, I don't think I can do that. And at this point, all I'm thinking is we spent so much time to drive up to Weatherford to go get this car. I told the guy, would you take 350 He's like, you got a deal. And so I was like, fuck. <laughs> so we bought the car for actually $360 because uh, the guy didn't have change. So I did kind of influence buying the car. A good example of what's going on right now is the first big build we had on Novice Garage was Brennan's Scion TC. We were boosting it. And that got dumped down the toilet uh, for a couple reasons. But after that, you guys got kind of let down. So I was determined to boost the Miata. Hey, and guess what? The Miata's boosted now. The Miata is running with the turbo. So we're going to do the same thing with Zach's cars. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, today, we're not really doing much car stuff. However, we are designing shirts and jackets. Hats. Oh, shit. Shirts and hats. So, yeah. Get pumped for that.
we'll probably have some for sale. We're probably not gonna make anything off of them right now, but right now we're just gonna design some. So uh, if you guys start seeing some custom tees appear in the videos, like you know, like this one, just know what's up. Uh, Seth is like a graphic designer. If you guys want so. one, like if you see one you like in a video, hit him up on Instagram, Snapchat, something. Tell him you want one. We'll, yep. Yep. We're going to figure out a payment yep. method and stuff like that. But if you guys see one you like, let us know. We'll send it out. Thank you guys for your patience with all Zach's project cars. And we'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Peace out.